graceful, colorful, otherworldly. Few things capture the human imagination quite like a hot air balloon drifting silently across the sky. Whether you've seen them rising at sunrise above Cappadocia in Turkey or filling the skies at the Albuquerque International Balloon Fiesta, balloons always feel like something out of a dream. But behind the beauty is a story of engineering, craftsmanship, and tradition that stretches back centuries. So how are hot air balloons actually made? How does fabric, fire, and a little bit of science come together to create one of humanity's oldest flying machines still in use today? Join us as we peel back the layers and take a look inside the fascinating process of how hot air balloons are made. To understand how balloons are made today, we have to go back to their beginning. The year was 1783 in France when two papermaking brothers, Joseph and Etienne Montgolfier, made history. Their invention, a silk bag filled with heated air that floated above Paris, carrying a sheep, a duck, and a rooster. Just months later, humans followed, becoming the first to rise into the sky in a hot air balloon. The principle was simple but brilliant. Hot air is lighter than cooler air. By trapping heated air inside a giant envelope, the Montgolfiers proved that humans could defy gravity without wings or engines. Fast forward to today, and while balloons have evolved dramatically, the principle remains unchanged. Lift comes from nothing more than warm air. The largest and most iconic part of a balloon is the envelope, the vast dome of fabric that captures heated air. Designing one is no small task. Engineers begin with software that calculates the balloon's volume, the shape of its gores, and how the fabric panels will fit together. A small sport balloon might stand 60 feet tall and hold 77,000 cubic feet of air. Commercial passenger balloons can tower nearly 100 feet, with envelopes holding over 300,000 cubic feet, enough to lift a small car into the sky. But it's not just about size. The envelope must be strong enough to handle immense stress, yet light enough to fly. The material of choice is ripstop nylon or polyester, lightweight, flexible, and coated with heat-resistant polyurethane or silicone. These coatings protect against ultraviolet radiation, moisture, and scorching from the burner flame. Each envelope is made up of vertical strips called gores, and each gore is stitched from smaller panels. Hundreds of panels are carefully measured, laser-cut, and color-coded. Balloon makers don't just build for function, they create works of art. Some are striped in bold colors, some patterned in spirals, and some are custom-made to look like cartoon characters, animals, or even giant soda cans. But no matter the design, strength is paramount. That's why each seam is stitched multiple times often reinforced with high tensile thread and wide load tapes that run vertically up the balloon. These hidden tapes bear most of the weight, ensuring the envelope doesn't rip apart during inflation or flight. At the very top of the envelope sits the crown, fitted with a clever vent system. Picture a giant fabric parachute stitched into the balloon's dome. With a pull of a rope, pilots can open this flap to release hot air, allowing them to descend smoothly or control altitude. Because this area faces enormous stress, it's reinforced with Kevlar cords, ensuring it won't fail even after years of use. Meanwhile, at the base of the balloon lies another vital feature, the skirt. This wide fabric collar protects the lower envelope from direct exposure to the burner's flames. Made of Nomex, the same heat-resistant fabric firefighters wear, the skirt shields the nylon from temperatures that can soar over 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit. Together, the crown, vent, and skirt turn a simple balloon into a controllable flying craft. They balance beauty with practicality, giving pilots the ability to manage flight with precision. Now let's travel below the envelope to the gondola, better known as the basket. While it looks traditional, every basket is a masterpiece of craftsmanship. Woven from wicker, usually rattan or willow, the basket is incredibly strong yet flexible, designed to absorb the bumps and jolts of landings. Unlike a rigid metal container, wicker bends distributing impact safely. 
Each basket begins with a sturdy steel or aluminum frame. Craftsmen weave wicker tightly around this frame, creating a basket that feels both timeless and modern. The process can take weeks, with every strand checked for strength. The interior is reinforced with padded edges, wooden flooring, and compartments for propane tanks. This is where passengers stand during flight, often shoulder to shoulder with strangers who, by the end of the journey, feel like friends. It's also where the pilot manages the burners, fuel, and control lines. A well-built basket isn't just a ride, it's the safe cradle of the entire ballooning experience. If the envelope is the heart of the balloon, the burner is its fiery soul. Fueled by propane, burners vaporize liquid fuel and ignite it into controlled flames that blast into the envelope. Each burst sends a rush of heated air upward, giving the balloon lift. Modern burners can generate flames over 3,000 degrees Fahrenheit, hot enough to melt metals if left unchecked. Yet they're engineered with precision valves that allow pilots to fine-tune every burst. Want to rise quickly? Open the valve for a long, roaring flame. Need to hover steadily? Deliver short pulses to maintain altitude. Most balloons use dual burners, not just for extra power, but as a safety measure. Redundancy is vital when flying hundreds of feet above the ground. And while the flames are loud and dramatic, Passengers often describe the moment between blasts as pure magic, drifting in complete silence with only the wind as your guide. With all the components ready, envelope, basket, burners, it's time for assembly. Thick steel cables attach the basket to reinforced load tapes stitched into the envelope. These tapes distribute the balloon's entire weight evenly across the fabric, preventing catastrophic tears. But before any balloon carries passengers, it must pass strict testing. Crews begin by inflating the envelope with cold air using giant industrial fans. As the fabric swells, inspectors crawl inside to check every seam, stitch, and tape for weakness. Only after the balloon passes inspection is the burner ignited, filling the dome with hot air and lifting it upright. Certification is required from aviation authorities, just like airplanes. Balloons must meet rigorous standards for fabric strength, fuel systems, and safety features. Pilots, too, undergo extensive training, learning how to navigate winds, control altitude, and perform safe landings. It's a world where craftsmanship meets regulation, ensuring ballooning remains both magical and safe. And then comes the payoff, the first flight. Typically at dawn, when winds are calm, crews roll out the envelope and stretch it across the field. Fans roar as cold air inflates the fabric, transforming a flat sheet into a towering dome. The burners ignite, sending flames deep inside. Slowly, the balloon stirs, rising from its side until it stands proudly upright. Passengers step into the basket, their excitement building. With a final blast of flame, the balloon grows lighter than the air around it. It tugs gently at its tether, then lifts free of the ground. Rising steadily, the roar of fire gives way to silence. Below, the world shrinks. Roads, houses, and rivers become miniature landscapes. Above, the sky opens wide. What began as rolls of nylon, wicker, and steel has now become a flying vessel. Suspended between earth and sky, the hot air balloon embodies humanity's oldest dream to rise, to float, to fly. And that is how hot air balloons are made, from bolts of fabric and woven wicker to roaring flames and gentle flight. It's a process of patience, precision, and timeless artistry. The next time you see one drifting silently overhead, remember the craftsmanship stitched into every seam and the fire that keeps it aloft. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this journey into the making of a flying legend, be sure to like, subscribe, and join us again as we uncover the hidden stories behind the world's most fascinating creations. This is the Decode Lab. Until next time, stay curious and keep decoding.